Hello and welcome to the British Dapper and today we're looking at jacket and coat ideas for autumn and winter. So it's fair to say in uh, springtime and uh, summer months there's not really much requirement to wear jackets and coats but in the early stages of spring and more importantly in autumn when we're going into autumn conditions and then finally into winter those periods are not really conducive to just wearing uh, a, a jumper or just a shirt and uh, we need something a little bit more substantial now initially you could wear something like this um, a simple uh, tweed jacket pair of jeans or something like that a pair of trousers and uh, and that will keep you just nice and comfortable uh, but when the weather gets a little bit colder you're going to need something a little bit more substantial so uh, this video is talking about when you need to increase what you're wearing the warmth factor if you like so from a tweed jacket or just a general sort of jacket uh, then I tend to go along these lines I have a uh, a shooting style jacket which is quite nice when it's starting to get a little bit fresher in the mornings and uh, that's great for going out semi-formal um, when it gets a little bit colder then I'll change that now this is uh, a double breasted jacket really thick wool jacket great for uh, when it starts to get a lot colder but obviously if you go into more formal events then we need something a bit more substantial and we need a full length coat and I'd always recommend a full length wool coat um, you can get them in other materials for example cashmere um, I have had one in the past that was made of camel uh, camel fur and it was a lovely lovely coat um, but they are expensive but they do last a lot of years uh, as long as you keep them in good condition they should last you a good 10-15 years if not more so this particular coat is uh, um, a camel coloured coat um, it's probably a three quarter length so it's a little bit lower down goes to the knee area and it's great for slipping over something it doesn't have to be formal but you could wear it as I've done here wearing uh, a tie and also uh, a waistcoat and a pair of shoes and trousers but you could also change that uh, if you wanted to to just wearing a pair of jeans and a pair of uh, brogues with them and uh, just an open neck shirt and it would still be a very effective look um, so let's just think about that full length coat so when it gets a little bit colder uh, I choose to use this which is a navy colour double breasted coat really long uh, thick uh, lapels on it which are great if you pull the back up um, gives you greater warmth around the neck area and uh, it's a very very thick warm coat great for when the cold months set in and uh, an alternative to that is a more formalized single breasted uh, black coat uh, ideal for formal events for example if you've got funerals to go to or it could be something uh, more formal at work or it could be for example remembrance days I tend to wear mine more for remembrance days uh, than most other occasions because it's that time of the year um, but another great coat um, and it gives you uh, a really warm feeling when you're wearing it obviously they are water repellent but not for long periods of time um, so 
the other thing to consider is uh, a raincoat and uh, I have had these in the past I don't wear them very often now tend to use a umbrella if I am wearing a wool coat and it looks a little bit inclement um, but uh, a raincoat fantastic especially the trench coat style double breasted um, really good look uh, especially when it does start to rain then you really get the benefits of them the only thing is they're a little bit thin and not ideal for winter conditions but still very effective uh, for light rain and uh, and those sort of inclement days for me personally when the uh, weather gets a more inclement and it starts to rain I tend to use a wax jacket and that's my go-to in the autumn winter months um, very effective in keeping you dry um, quite a statement piece nowadays a lot of people wear wax jackets um, they come in a variety of colors and you've got uh, in this particular case I tend to wear a chocolate brown colored one um, but uh, yeah they come in greens, uh, blacks, navy and they come in different lengths as well so got short jackets as in they come to just below the hip uh, to uh, three quarter lengths where they're mid thigh and all the way down to full length coats uh, very much similar to a raincoat but a more uh, rugged uh, version of that so the other thing to think about though is footwear now when you're wearing leather sho uh, shoes that's fine in the dry but in the winter months autumn months when it starts to get more wet those leather shoes start absorbing water into the leather itself and um, they need to be dried out every now and again uh, you can't keep wearing them day after day um, the trouble with the water is it will eventually get into the leather uppers and they break down that uh, the fibers in the leather so you actually end up the shoes start getting misshaped the toe caps collapse uh, and they don't look as good as when you first get them so I tend to when it gets to this time of the year and it's starting to get wet underfoot I seriously consider about using shoes that have got rubber soles on them now that could be attached to the original leather shoes uh, for example like this or it can be just buying a simple pair of shoes or boots that are actually rubber soled instead and I don't normally spend a lot of money on those because I tend to wait wear them until the season's done and they end up normally being given to a charity shop after that uh, because they're still good enough to wear but uh, quite an effective way of maintaining shoes that cost you two or three hundred pounds if not more and keeping them in good condition and use them for the right part of the season when you can use cheaper alternatives in the winter months um, for walking the dog or taking trips into town so diverse a little bit there from coats but uh, it's all part of that time of the year where we have to seriously consider about what we wear with the coats so you might find that it's now time to start wearing scarves and gloves as well um, so I tend to uh, pick out with my gloves uh, the color of the shoes that I'm going to be wearing or boots so if it's a formal event and I'm wearing black uh, shoes then I tend to wear black gloves if I'm wearing brown shoes or burgundy shoes then I tend to go with brown gloves or burgundy gloves uh, hope you enjoyed the video if you did give us a thumbs up if you'd uh, like to subscribe then please feel free to do so uh, notifications just simply hit the bell uh, if you'd like to make a comment then jot it down below we'll get back to you as soon as we can we love constructive comments 
Uh, so please feel free to jot a comment down there. So until next time, take care.